As the country is looking forward to observing the National Prayer and Repentance Day on the 26th of this month, the minister has reminded all to take a moment to reflect on themselves and the role of Christianity in the nation. At the Repentance Day, I'd like to make a call to all the Christians, uh, leaders of both sides in the government and the opposition, uh, the bureaucrats, the public servants, um, public sector, general public, students, schools, uh, children as well, as we look forward to the Repentance Day. And on behalf of the government, um, Marbury Rosso government, we like to make a call that at this day we would like to see everyone and all of us in wherever places we are. We give this day a time to reflect on ourselves, reflect on our country as leaders, and let us all stand together uh, during this day. He highlighted the church's impact on the country's part, noting that it is through faith and collective effort that Papua New Guinea has navigated its journey. According to Minister Pita, it has been nearly 13 years since the government formally recognized the significance of the Prayer and Repentance Day, marking it as a vital tradition in the country. Yeah, almost 13 years now since the first uh, initial, uh, that was back in 2011. And this year is 2024, so almost 13 years um, we've been, the government has been uh, in the front of uh, seeing the importance of the Repentance Day uh, across our country. Also present were various church leaders and representatives from the religious office, all expressing their commitment to engage citizens in observing this day. Thank you. So I'm just calling for that if those of you who think that this is a holiday, it's not a holiday. It's a time to come. Freedom for our families, freedom for our clans, freedom for our churches, freedom for our land. Our opportunity, we're not free. But the year of Jubilee, and when you read Liberty... Donila Debuyo, NBC National News, Port Mosby.